What's going on you guys? Laxo here again. And last video, as you can see, we pulled for Koga. So this video, we're going to go ahead and combine him, get him to five star, and just level him up all the way. Let you guys see all the stats along the way. And then level up his gear to probably orange, orange one, orange two, somewhere around there. And that's pretty much as far as we're going to go with this video. The next video is should be covering him in battle and whatnot. But this is just pretty much a build video. So check the description below for all the timestamps. And click around where if you'd like. Let's go ahead and hop into it here. Alright, so... Oh, I'll forget before, before I forget. I will also be completely building him this video. Like, completely building him 100%. As much as I can. So, let's get into it here first. Let's go ahead and get him some stars here. It's been a minute since I've made one of these videos. It has been a minute. All right. Here we are, five star. Let's go ahead and collect his gear over here. I always suggest getting the character to a minimum of three star every time, just so you guys can get these bags right here. You really want these. If you can get a character to three star, do it because you get all these resources for free. All, even if you're not even going to level up the character all the way and you'd rather save these resources for an event character, that's what I do. That is why I'm always able to level up event characters as soon as I get them because I save all these resources all the time. I should have one more here. Look at all these resources. This takes weeks. Weeks of... Of time right there to get all that, so... Look at that. Almost... Almost 1 billion gold. Almost 1 billion. I need 13 million more. Feels bad. I'm gonna spend... Probably 70 mil gold right now. Where do I get in these? Oh yeah, okay. Alright, down to 900. That is that is still enough for one 7 star character, so I'm not worried too much, but... Down pretty low. Alright, let's go ahead and... Get busy. Also, we get Muramasa. Let's go ahead and check his stats. So he's going to get 20% attack right now, or 20% HP. So I'm assuming that's going to get him to maybe... What do you guys think? 300 and... 305? Maybe 310k? Let's see what is it. And I'm at about 169... Or, I'm sorry, 1.7 mil HP. Let's go ahead and check it out. Three hundred and two k. That's actually a lot lower than I thought, but that is my first character to break three hundred k. So I'm pretty excited about that, and I'm at one point seven seven mil HP. So I got what a uh, hundred, a hundred and seventy five k HP. It's not bad, not great, but not bad. All right, this video is carried on long enough. We need to get into Koga now, so let's do this. Another reason why I do want to get him to six star is because I can get this bond to purple, and I never plan on getting Yamamoto to five star. So, all right, let's go ahead and get busy. I also, for the first time I think ever, I've, I've managed to save up 200 uh, Awaken Essences, which is pretty good.
All right, let's just start off by getting all this to... How about gold? Oh, I need a little... Hold up. This is everyone's favorite part here. The 30 seconds of leveling up. But I, I feel like people are underestimating how good Koga is. I know there's a lot of bad... I know there's a lot of bad talk out there about him, but I feel like people could just be using him wrong. Or they could just be going up against, like, the best of the best, you know? Not actually getting him to a... a good state, you know? That could just be me, so... I have enough to get him to Prismatic Blue 2. Alright, let's do... Let's do Orange 1. Alright, everything is at... Blue, let's take a look at his stats here. Looks like at 5 star with nothing else going on, just 5 star base. Not even any Awakened Stones. He's going to be at 70k attack, about 500k HP. Let's go ahead and get this going. I actually have a lot of red runes, I believe, for him. So let's go ahead and toss on some red runes, actually. Alright, so I managed to get four red runes on him. Let's leave it at that, because I don't think you can get much better than that at the moment. Also, his, uh... His talent is pretty good if you are doing Kenpachi contests. Alright, let's get going. I'm sorry I'm slow rolling this, guys, but some people may want to see the actual stat increases in between levels, so trying to be as generous as possible here. get to red, he really starts to gain some levels here. I know when we get to prismatic blue, it's going to be taking some big jumps. So far it's been about 9-10k tops. Yep, there it is, 9k. This should be a big one. 10k-ish. All right, here we are, Prismatic Blue 2. We have him at 215k power, 210k attack, 44k defense, and 1.6 mil HP. Let's go ahead and work on the War Souls here. Does this even... Uh... Does this actually give him anything? He's at 
Okay, yeah, it gave him about 300 or so, 400. Let's stop it, because that's 5,000 to increase it again, so that's better spent elsewhere. 15 shards. Also, we can get his war soul now as well. Ooh, I totally forgot about that. I also forgot to level this up as well. So with that, we have him at 226k. Alright, I know we have his war soul, but I'm going to go ahead and find a different war soul because I'm trying to test his attack here, so. You know what, let's grab this war soul, toss it on him. And for this one, we all know the war soul I have for this guy. Alright, now let's take a look at his attack here. Alright, so now he's at... 242k attack I'm sorry 237k attack about 44k defense and 1.68 H or HP yes let's compare him to the others here I'm mostly going to be using him as an attacker not a front line so let's swap him in for Gein also, let's level up him elsewhere as well. We need to always get these shards when they're here. Eighty-five to ninety-two, nice. Good little upgrade there. We could finally start leveling him up down here. Mudamasa, where are you at? There you are. I've been waiting for this for a long time, so... It doesn't increase his attack, HP, and defense too much, but it does increase it some, so I do want to take the time to level this up here and I'll probably go to I don't know we'll see what I get him to I'd like to get it to maybe at least a hundred and something so let's see work on Mudamasa some. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get him up too high. Good enough for now. Alright. Let's see what we're at here. Now with him. Alright, so with that, we have him at 252k attack. 251k power, 44k defense, and about 1.7 mil HP. Let's compare it to other characters. Actually, I got a perfect character to... to... Actually, Gein would probably be a good character. Let's compare him to Gein. Let's go like this. Alright, so we're at 251k power, 234k power, 
and 271k power. Actually, we stripped him of his war soul, so let's toss on... That'll do right there. Alright, so that puts him at 288k attack, 279k power, 251k power, 252k attack. HP, we'll say 1.7 mil there, and 1.8 mil there, but then again, his stats over here are leveled up, so... Let's compare him to Biakia. I think that's a better it's a better comparison here. Alright, what are we at here for Biakia? Alright, so we're at two point I'm sorry, we're at about 260k attack, 252k attack there. 1.7 mil HP, 1.5 mil HP, 41k defense, 44k defense. So he's pretty close to Biakia's stats. Biakia does have a couple purples down here, and he does have his equipment leveled a little bit more. So that might not be the perfect comparison, but compared to other characters, I feel that is pretty close. Let's check a couple more characters here, okay? I'm trying to compare stats for you guys so you guys get a good idea as to what to expect him to be if you guys have. You guys plan on leveling him up. I think that's not bad right there. Once again, Hyoden Maru. 2 points or 1.7 mil HP 1.7 mil HP 46k defense 255k attack okay so he's oh never mind that once again the gear okay so that doesn't really count too much this should be a better comparison and she has all the war souls and everything attached she has her bonds are a lot higher but we'll compare it as is 251k power 251k power, so that is spot on. 261k attack, 252k attack, 1.7 mil HP, 1.6 mil HP, 42k defense, and 44k defense. So we're actually looking at pretty close stats to Noel. Pretty close stats. Not perfect, but pretty close. Hyoden Maru is pretty close as well, but then again, his gear is leveled up, so... And, oh, in case you guys are curious, the reason why I don't like to level up the gear is because all those extra resources... Watch, let's go ahead and take a look here. So, all these resources right here, I'm saving. And what that does is that gives me all the more resources to level up the next character, which would be an event character. So I get to save all these resources for the next character. However, with that being said, we can actually look at the numbers we get for the gear. So we're looking at, what, 6,400, 16k, 15k, 23k. And with actual leveled gear, we're looking at 24k, 57k, 54k, 81k. Actually get a lot of HP from that. So 24k for a, a pretty good, actually... 27.7. So we're looking at 27.7 for that weapon fully upgraded. And right here we only have 6,500. So if we had an extra 20k attack... We're looking at 270k attack. Which would probably make that 270k power. So these are roughly the numbers that you guys can be expecting if you level him up. But yeah, this is Koga. Let's go ahead and or check out his stats here. So. 
Probably should have done this sooner, I do apologize. Uh, crit chance is at 47. Crit strength is at about 10. Effect accuracy, 23. Effect strength, 4. Damage reduction rate, 36. It's a little low. If we get him to 5 star, we're probably going to be expecting around 50. Crit resist chance, 46. Block chance, 42. Block strength, 11. Effect reduction, 22. Damage rate, 53.8. And once again with the Warsoul we have here, let's go ahead and give him, if he gets, let's just say, to 20% HP, where he gets his his best passive, we'll say... We'll just say an extra 50%. An extra 50% crit chance and crit strength with that so if we're doing an extra 50 percent that is almost 100 percent crit chance and 60 percent crit strength if we get him below 20 hp and that's when he swings and he gets the massive lifesteal hit hp equal to 50 percent of the damage dealt so that's going to be a massive hit if we could do that but that's only if we get him below 20 percent hp all right, anyways, guys, I think that is actually going to wrap it up for this one. As soon as I end this video, I'm actually going to start recording the next video. So expect that one out soon. But I think, once again, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this content, hit that like button as well. And if you guys want to talk to me, reach me, ask me questions, this and that, you can message me in the comments section. But best chance you can get a hold of me is by joining my Discord and adding me in my Discord. Link will be in the description as well. Alright guys, that'll do it, and I will catch you all in the next one.